Hey Robin, this is Colton with North Island Nissan. This is my quick walk around video for our brand new 2021 Nissan Sentra. I just grabbed kind of the first keys of the one I saw on the board there. This one is an SV trim level. Uh, it's quite a nice color actually. They call this one an electric blue, but we do also have a red model available and I believe a white one as well. Um, so if you have any color preferences there, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's a really stylish car. They definitely gave it a bit of a sportier look. Uh, the grill is super, super cool on it for sure. Um, nice kind of V-motion grill that they've been putting on a lot of their vehicles and they've squared a lot of it off too. So it's definitely a much sportier looking vehicle. They've got the lines going up the hood there and kind of down the sides of the body too. Um, so yeah, it's a great looking car. Uh, they are two inches wider this year. So you do have a little bit more interior space and it also gives it a little bit of a smoother ride too. And they've also moved it up from the 1.8 liter to a two liter four cylinder engine. So it has a fair amount more power as well. They've also added in their zero gravity uh, designed seats. So they're super comfortable front seats, a little bit larger center console there and a really nice interior. Hopefully the lighting's okay. It is a little bit darker out right now, so it might show up a little bit greenier than it would during the middle of the day. Um, but there's tons of safety features in this one. There's blind spot warning, forward emergency braking, rear emergency braking, uh, rear cross traffic alert, uh, tons and tons of features in it. There are lots of back, there is lots of back seat space. Um, again, it's a little bit wider. Legroom should be fairly similar for the most part. Got that SV badge along the back. And then there is a button on the bottom here. You can open up the trunk. So yeah, really cool design on the outside. And then to go over some features quickly here, not to make this too long for you. Uh, there's a button on the door handle you can use to lock and unlock the vehicle. And it's push button start in the middle there, uh, right there. So you never actually need to take keys out of your pocket. You just click the button on the outside door handle, hop in, click the start button, and you're on your way. Um, here we of course have our power locks, windows, and mirrors. There is the little light for the blind spot warning just up there. Um, it is a manual seat, but you can raise it up and down as well as move it forward and back. Uh, they've got their D-shaped steering wheel in it. I love the look of the steering wheel. Um, and then they've a couple buttons for the eco mode. Uh, that just dims down the dash, trip reset, and then that button will open up the trunk. And then hopping in, I'll start it up real quick. So to start it up with the push button start, put on the brake, hit that button. It's gonna start it up. Here is the key here. I'll turn the music down real quick. Here's the key here. Um, it does have the remote start on it as well. That is one of my favorite features to have in the winter time. And because that is a digital climate control, it's actually an intelligent remote start. So this will, if you use it, it'll automatically adjust the temperature depending on what the outside temperature is. You got seven degrees up there. So if everything's frosted over, it's gonna automatically turn the heat on for you, your front and rear until defroster. Uh, and if it's cold enough, it'll do your heated seats too. And it's gonna warm everything up for you. And the opposite in the summertime, if it's screaming hot out there, it's gonna automatically turn your air conditioning on no matter what the last temperature that you set there was. So that's really cool. Um, on the screen in front of the steering wheel, you can use the buttons on the left-hand side to go through a few different screens. You can get fuel economy, tire pressure, um, all sorts of ones there. That fuel economy is gonna be way off because the vehicle's definitely just sat here sitting for a while and it's raised it up a little bit. Um, and then there is a digital speedometer on there too. And then going to the center screen, um, this does off offer Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So it still has the Bluetooth calling and audio. So you can set your phone up uh, for Bluetooth calling. Right now we're on the Sirius XM page, um, but you can do that wirelessly. And then if you do plug your phone in, you can actually get it set up for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which you can pull up your navigation with it. You can open up your music app. So say if you use Spotify, you can actually open up that app and get into your Spotify from the screen here instead of having to go into your phone. Um, so it's a little bit more intuitive for that. Um, we've got the vents down below. I actually really like these vents because you can see exactly what they're pointed at. So I always thought that was a really cool design for those. There is a dual climate control. So as long as it's on any other mode than the front windshield defroster, you can set two different temperatures there. Um, and then they do share a fan strength in the middle. Now you got a couple uh, charging ports down below. There is still the 12 volt plug-in. Let me try and make it a little bit more clear there. Uh, 12 volt plug-in there. Uh, on the gear shifter, it's pretty straightforward, park, reverse, neutral, drive. There is a sport mode button on the back of that gear shifter. That's the little white line there. And then we got our cup holders, a little pocket right there, and then a little bit of a bigger center console than what was offered in them previously. And then this one does also have a sunroof as well. I'm gonna give you a quick wide angle view of the whole car. Got 
Awesome, and so that's everything there. Um, if there's anything else I can show you in this car, just let me know. I'm more than happy to make you another video, but I do hope you'll enjoy this one. Um, let me know if this is something you'd be interested in. We'd happy to put uh, give you a trade value for your vehicle and kind of get payments and stuff together if you'd like. Um, we just need a credit application to get the payout and everything for your current one. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.